I think for my mother, a career in Hollywood was kind of a given, a, an eventual thing that she had dreamed about. Um, having grown up in St. Louis and been under the guidance of her Aunt Alice for so many years in performing arts, music, stage, elocution, my mother used to say, how to speak. Um, where do you go from there? You know, stay in St. Louis. She did have the opportunity to work at the St. Louis Municipal Opera House, which was a great, great experience she'd never forget. But let's face it, Hollywood was a great goal, great achievement. So her getting to go out there, and I think, as I remember, my grandmother, her mother went with her. She didn't go alone. And um, the experience, I can imagine, was just uh, dreamlike or surreal for somebody like her. She worked hard as a young, younger woman, and I think she worked even harder to get, once she got to Hollywood, she worked as hard as she could. Um, that was just ingrained in her. My mom's relationship with Aunt Alice, I think, was, was almost mythical to, to me and to the family. Aunt Alice, you know, she was creating talent in people and um, in, in my mom. Uh, she loved her and respected her almost, I think, almost like a parent in a way, some kind of role model. But she was, Aunt Alice was crucial to my mother's career in show business and she taught her everything she knew and my mother would say that. She tried to groom her, I believe, for the future in Hollywood. In the letters she wrote to Aunt Alice, she would tell of the experience she would have seeing all these famous stars. Uh, you know, they were everywhere. Um, I think that probably encouraged her rather than intimidated her to try harder. But um, Aunt Alice and those letters, I, I think it's interesting now we have texting and email and everything, but there's something about a written letter that's got emotion and feeling and life. So uh, I think that connection was important and I'm sure seeing all these people, that was, helped her to achieve her goal, to strive for what they had achieved. One of her most famous, I guess you'd say, movies was The Best Years of Our Lives. It was a drama, and a political drama at that, I guess you could call it, for the day. But she didn't start out that way. She started out with Bob Hope and Danny Kaye singing and dancing her way across Hollywood, which was, that's where her, her all her training was really, her, all her training from her aunt was basically uh, that singing, dancing, performing. So she enjoyed those movies a lot because she got to perform and do what she was good at. The movie The Best Years of Our Lives at that time I think was, uh, it was unique. It was talking about the soldiers and families and the effect that the war had on them. We know now what war can do to a human and their psyche. Um, at the time I don't think there was a lot of emphasis shown on what the soldiers were going through, but they were going through some things. And this movie, I think, showed every aspect of what it was like to come home from this war and how it affected each individual and their families. I think she felt this was her chance to not only do something important in the film world, but to say something important about our, our soldiers, our country, our men, and and the people we send to war.